Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage, and today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin. Let's get into the price action and see what's going on. Primarily, what we're looking for is still that same possibility. Looking for this as a possible A wave here, looking for a B wave and a C wave to the downside. So this would be potentially looking to target out this zone of this 26,127 area. And we'd be looking for that potential to come down into this zone, looking for that wave two or that B wave low. Now this can potentially extend all the way down towards the zone of this 21567 area if this is the case and that would be sort of our cutoff point that we'd be looking for this as a wave two. So just because the one to one is here doesn't necessarily mean it has to actually stop there. Potentially we could see something like a move down to this 1618 which would bring us back down into this channel line here. Obviously if we do move down towards this lower 1618 we need to be careful we don't have a bigger five wave structure here where this becomes one, two, three, four, and five. If this is, however, a bigger triangle in here, this cannot be a wave two. So what this could just mean is that we get a bigger ABC pattern to the downside, which would look to potentially come back into these levels. So that's what I'm just looking out for with this C wave. There is also the alternative that from further back here, we have this as a flat correction, in which case we could be starting to move to the upside here in an impulse. The problem is the current structure we have is not very good as an impulse because we do not have clear moves in this secondary part of this. Now, this could be building something, um, but really what I'd want to see is, you know, a much bigger move here to the upside. And we need to start to break some of these key highs and basically get back above this high point here, in which case then we could start to look for that potential that, you know, we've had a wave two here. But looking at the current structure up, it is indicating to me and it would make a lot more sense to actually have another drop down here. So we're going to have to see exactly how it plays out. But really, our rejection area is here from this 30,324. And uh, all the way down to this zone here, this 28873. So we're already in this area. If we do get a move to the upside again, what I will be looking out for is this 0786, which would be here at this 30,040. That would actually align with a double top here. And then basically having a move up towards this zone, this 30,324 area. So that would be a 0 0.854 retracement which would be sort of the, the really the highest we'd want to come here so if we do get a move up here there is still that potential that this b wave is higher up here and we could look to break down in this c wave after that okay so now we're talking about this in a triangle and there's a couple of ways we could potentially look at this you know we can we can look at this potentially as a b c d and then we're forming an e wave here in which case we would look to break down in a bigger way, we'd be looking for this zone potentially towards this uh, 120, let's say this 26,127 area, or alternatively, this bigger green box area below us here so as a support zone. So, what I'm looking for with this is if this is a B wave triangle, I would be looking at it basically as something like this, where we have this as a bigger triangle here, where this is A, B, C, and actually, what we could be having is a D, an E wave triangle here, where this is basically our C wave, our D wave, and we have this as A, B, C, D, and then we'll be looking for E. So there's two ways that we can look at this move. So it's potentially possible that this could actually be our, our D wave here and our E wave here. If it's a smaller triangle from within here, or if it's this bigger one, what we could see is something like this. A rejection of these levels coming back down towards the zone of this 29,131 to this 29,123 area. And then looking for another three wave move up. If this is the case, what we'd then be looking for is this E wave touch point here. And basically then we would be looking for that possibility of a rejection from that point. Now, this could look to, um, if this does complete, this would be a bigger B wave in my, in my opinion. If we get something like this and we actually get these additional two legs here, then we could be looking for that one to one drop. The alternative way that we we're looking at this was looking for the possibility that um you know this is a triangle as a b wave of flat correction so that would be looking at this in this manner rather here we were looking at this basically for an a wave to the upside looking to actually complete this this b wave here looking at this as a b wave as a triangle and then looking for that c wave down so this would technically look to be a, you know potentially a shallower move here if this is the case which would actually look to pretend, come down to this uh, 27,136 area given the current structure. If we do get this, 
what would we need to be on the lookout is that this could become a this is all b we get a c wave down here and then this would put us in the in the potential zone that we could actually see something like this play out as a bigger flat to the upside so the typical area that this b wave would come is pretty much anywhere from this one to one area to all the way down to this 25,800 25,844 area. So if we get this and it's an A, a B, and a C, and we break down into this zone, what I'd then be looking out for is to see if we get a five wave move to the upside. So that would be looking to sweep these lows, then come back up here and sweep these highs, and potentially even come into this higher range here. So, you know, this is something we need to just be on the lookout for. If we do get another break to the downside here, it could be that this is just a B wave, and then we get a five wave move up here. And then we would get a rejection from that point. Now, the key thing is here, if this is a flat as a B wave, A, B, and then we get a five wave move back to the upside here, we'd only get confirmation that it was a flat by taking this low. So what we'd want to see then is having another five wave move to the downside, which takes this low point at that at that area. So that could then mean that we'd see something like this, which would be a move back down to this 26,369 looking at this as basically a a a b and then a bigger c wave here now there's always potential that we could break down in a bigger way here so we need to just be aware of that but uh given the current structure this is what i'm looking for this potential to actually come back down here one more time where this is our b wave looking to complete and really as long as we stay within that triangle shape you know we can look for this potential so this would be looking at the triangle slightly differently and I'm going to just turn off the flat area here. Now, this is the other way of looking at this as a triangle. We could say this is A, B, C, D. And then we're actually looking to break down as an E wave completed into this high point here. So if this is the case, you know, this E wave could technically be completed um, given the relationship to the previous wave here. Could look to actually start to break down. Now, the key thing here is what we would be looking for. It's basically for this to play out as A, B, and then C to the downside, and then to reverse up in a five wave move. If this happens, that would confirm the flat, um, in my opinion, or at least make it more likely. Really, until that five wave move breaks down and takes its low again, we don't have full confirmation. But this is what I'm looking out for the potential to actually start to break down from this point where we'd be looking for a five wave move to the downside, looking to actually come back into the zone of this low here of this 27,235 area. So that's what we're looking out for here. You know, the, I want to see which way this breaks. If we do break up, what we could see is the fact that, you know, this is potentially a triangle here as, as a A, B, C, D, and then we get another move to the downside, find support around this area of this uh, 29,102. And then we actually look to push up. If that's the case, what I would then be looking for would be that potential of coming up one more time here, which could look to actually bring us into the zone of, let me just throw this on here, this 30,359, which would be basically that, that higher area we're talking about as a B wave. So if we do break up, I'm going to be keeping an eye on this zone. You know, this is going to be a very key area here, in my opinion. Uh, see whether we get a retest and a rejection off of this, which could then send us into a bigger move to the downside. So that's uh, that's what I'm looking at at the moment. You know, there is some other interpretations. Like I said in the previous video, there's a couple of ways of looking at this at the moment because of the fact that we are so choppy in this area. We can't rule out the idea that, um, you know, we could have a bigger correction as well. It just hasn't started forming nicely yet. Um, we were talking about this potential as a breakout here. We were looking for this potential as an A, B, and a C, um, which, you know, we've come up enough to enough to actually uh, complete that. But now what we need to see is if this is something more severe, like a bigger five wave move to the downside currently, because of the fact we're looking at this as a triangle, it wouldn't fit. But what I'm looking out for is that you know, if we start to break down deeper and we come down towards this 25,507 area, what we could have here is a bigger five wave structure that is starting to play out. The confirmation would only really come by a much deeper move towards this zone here of this, um, this 26, 
this 23,965. So that would be our ideal third wave target. So I'm just keeping an eye on this. At the moment, the structure is not fitting, but it is possible that within this, you know, we could just have something as simple as this is actually an, a one and a two. And then we have something like a diagonal here. This is forming a wave two. And then we start to break down in a bigger third, fourth, and fifth. And then, you know, we'd start to get into some of these lower zones here and it is actually extending out. So that's, that's the key thing. Yeah. You know, until we actually start taking out these highs, we need to be careful because this could become one, two, then we could have another one, two over here. And, you know, this would become three, four, five, we get another fourth and a fifth. Uh, I mean, that would really tie into that ABC pattern. But if we do get extensions, like I said, 25,000, uh, 507 is going to be the area that I'm going to be watching for that possibility of actually forming a bigger five wave structure to the downside. Yeah, so we're just going to have to keep an eye on that as we go. But primarily, I'm still looking for that triangle um, potential and so want to see how that plays out. Basically, if we do have another leg to the upside, like I said, that 30,373 area is going to be a key area. You can see there's some confluence here as well with this, um, this 0 0.854 fib. But, uh, you know, yeah, my primary expectation is that this is actually going to break down. Whether this breaks down to these lower ranges um, and we get a bigger move down, you know, potentially looking at the structure moving down towards this 26,127 zone as a one-to-one -one of this first move here, or whether we actually just get a shallower move to the downside here, sweep these lows, then look to come back up and sweep these highs before continuing down. So that's primarily what I'm looking out for. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out, it's free to join. As well as that, you'll find affiliate links for both PrimeXBT and Bybit down there. Both great exchanges we use on a regular basis. Check them out if you don't have one. Uh, using the affiliate link does help support the channel and we do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.